And then I realized, and, and then after a while, you know, I asked and I said, well, well, maybe the way it works is that you're using a language called like Java, which essentially has a flat namespace. It looks hierarchical, but it really is flat. And your modern IDEs makes all of that namespace instantly accessible, right? You just type, you start typing. It says, well, over there in that far corner, light years away in your software system, there's a name. Just use it and you go, and it's there. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, that the Java people, right? it's their problem, right? And they have all these mechanisms to counteract uh, those problems. But that problem is exactly the same in Haskell, exactly the same in Haskell. Right. And probably going to get worse now that the development environments are getting better at accessing all those things in those far corners of the system. So we have, you know, especially in the space of strongly typed functional programming, we have standard ML, its module system from which the OCaml module system was, uh, has evolved. Uh, so it, it solves on a technical problem, it solves all those problems, but we have not applied this, I mean. I guess the people at Jane Street are applying it within their systems, but we have not communicated to the world that, yeah, well, at least there's at least one or two programming languages. There's OCaml that you can use now. It has a powerful module system. It solves that problem, right? And therefore you should use it. We, there's very little documentation on how, how to use that module system, how to use things like type classes and so on. There's all these intro books, but there's very little sort of on the larger side. And so again, taking a roundabout route. So I realized there is this huge communication gap and I can try to bridge it by trying to introduce sort of functional elements into the conversation there. Uh, we're, we're, we're slowly evolving also the foundational curriculum on software architecture includes some, some uh, functional elements and that's starting some conversations there. 